Hello, Thursday, and welcome to Lash Out Like Lasker. Lasker, a brilliant player who changed chess when he came along, introducing many modern defensive ideas, was also a bit of a useful attacker. And in this position, his most famous example, I would say, Bauer with the black pieces played a6, and after knight h5, white was getting ready for what is now coined the Lasker double bishop sacrifice. Do you know this classic game? We have a look at this and many other examples throughout the course. What is the right move to play? Well, we've got to rip open the protection of black's king, like numerous attacking chances. There's certain considerations, and again, in the real course, I tell you all about the considerations. Number of attackers that you should be looking for, number of defenses your opponent has, time, do you have time to do it, weak squares, focal points, and decoy methods, uh, calculation methods, everything you need to know to be uh, a little Lasker in your own right. And here, bishop takes h7 is now a familiar pattern. And the idea is to bring the queen in and then rip open the second protection. And this one combines something we saw another day, and that is the famous rook swinger. This rook coming around. Remember this one? This happened before with the rook coming to h3. And in this case, it's again a deadly idea. The next Alaska battering we're going to look at is in the following position after a6. A6 really asking for some punishment. And if our opponent's going to ask us to punish him, what can we do? Bishop takes a6. Now, another great thing about this course is the original book predates computer chess and the team at Chessable. And I must thank, there's been a lot of people behind the scenes working on this. Camille, Tobias, uh, Makey, um, and there's so many people who've helped create this course. They've updated all the analysis for me to show you and for you to see in the book as well. And c6 is now black's best chance, but after this queen a6 and knight b5, threatening check, checkmate, knight b6, what do you think could be the winning idea? It's that Lasker idea again. El Swingiono. And this goes back to something I talked about before, which is bringing in reinforcements. Such an important technique. Here, we're attacking. Whenever you're attacking, look at your pieces, which are most aggressively placed. Can you do anything with them? Well, not here. Checks are not always good. They will help your opponent run away in some cases. If you can't, then you should bring in your reinforcements. And rook d3 brings in the third piece, which is going to be quite deadly on one of these three squares. The last Lasker example is actually from a little bit further on in that game where c6 was played. And what is the winning idea that Lasker now demonstrated? In this case, it's actually getting rid of one of your own pieces, which is traffic jamming the position and in, in actual fact, getting in the way of your attack. That piece is the knight. So we simply hop it out the way. And now with queen a7 to come, well, there's a couple of ways of doing this. I quite like b7, b8, double queen, just because I feel really hard. Uh, instead, this is also a very nice way of doing it. And Vladimir actually calls this a post-humorous final position of the game. Black's king and rook are back once more on the original castling position. And, uh, well, uh, black's king and rook. Yes, they are indeed queenside castling. That's it for Thursday. One more day to come. Make sure you tune in to my last little uh, adventure, little, little teaser, shall we say, into this course uh, with some more fascinating examples. Every battle is won by preparation. We've taken one of the most popular chess books ever written and rewired it for the modern player. The Art of Attack. Learn with Chessable's state-of-the-art move trainer technology presented by myself, Grandmaster Simon Williams. I'll talk you through 29 hours worth of educational video content. From attacking the uncastled king, bishop sacrifices, diagonal attacks, and classic pawn storms. Paint your opponent's king into a corner with the art of attack.